Libras, my name is Marie. This is Indigo Earth Tarot, and I'm here to do a general reading for you, our Air Signs Libras. Hey, welcome in. Welcome in. Good to have you here. Thanks for stopping by. I also want to welcome in your cross watchers. Cross watchers, you are here to find out what's going on with your Libra. Some of this message could be for you. Energies do flow in both directions, so feel free to swap around the characters or interpret the meanings as it relates to your personal situation. And Libra, the messages coming through today should reflect some aspect of your current situation. It doesn't have to reflect everything. There could be bits and pieces that kind of resonate with you, and it can resonate with an inner, an inner knowing as well. So as always, I ask you, just take what fits, what doesn't seem to fit, leave it behind. And if you're new to the channel, hello, welcome, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you here. If you like the content being shared, please like and subscribe. To my ongoing subscribers, thank you for all the ways that you support the channel. It's very much appreciated. Um, I'd like to point your attention to the message in the description box below about scammers. Um, YouTube is my only social media channel. I will not reach out to you on any other platform unless you have scheduled a personal reading with me. And then that would only be through um, personal email. So just be aware of that. There are scammers out there that are hitting the uh, tarot readers, astrology readers, psychics pretty hard. That community is getting hit pretty hard. So just be aware of that. All right, here we go. So this is for Libra, Venus. Ruled by Venus. Love, relationships, romance, balance. All right. Messages for those watching, please. All right, Libra. Overall energetic theme for the reading. Well, look at that. You've got Venus showing up. <laughs> the Empress. Um, that's your ruling planet. But this is about abundance, beauty, joy, enjoying the finer things in life. So let's see what the shared energy is between you and this situation or you and this other person. We have the Hierophant coming in. So, so far I have Taurus coming in and Taurus and Libra coming in here. Um, and Venus is most at home when, it, when she's in Taurus. It's really exploring relationship, relationship dynamic, values, what you value. And Venus is really about bringing the material things, you know, from the spiritual realm into um, this 3D realm that we live into. But this could also have something to do with structure and commitment. So we'll see where this goes. What's your energy right now? We have the hermit. You could be isolating yourself a little bit. You could be drawing back, pulling away. You could be searching for something. What is the energy of this other person or this experience? We have the king of cups coming in. Somebody has a lot of emotions or is going through or feeling a lot of emotions. But, you know, one thing I like about the King of Cups energy is, is that this person is um, making decisions based on the good of the whole. So what is the situation? What's going on here? We have the Ace of Pentacles. So some sort of brand new beginning wants to come through. Some sort of newness of something, something different. What's your challenge? Three of Pentacles, working together, growing, building. So what's the energy that surrounds you you might not be aware of? We have the lovers. Are you hiding from somebody? <laughs> Libra, are you hiding from somebody here? Because we've got the Empress, you know, things aren't quite... Um, you know, it represents birth, pulling the spiritual into the um, 3D realm. Something hasn't come to fruition yet. So I'm wondering, are you kind of like isolating yourself from this or hiding from this? 
You know, we got commitment coming in here, and now we got the lovers showing up, and energies around you might not be aware of. So what's coming at you? Oh, we got the King of Pentacles coming in. Could be dealing with an Earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, some of you. I got Virgo showing up here. So where are we heading? We have the Five of Swords. Well, I'm not, that's kind of random. I'm not quite sure why that's showing up. So let's dive in. Because Five of Swords is usually about competition, having to fight your way through something, or having to, you know, get your point across, like, in not such a good way. But let's find out what the Hermit is. What, what are you doing here, Libra? What are you, what are you, what are you looking for? It's happening. You got your sights set on something here. What is it? I'm going to take that one because it wants to come out. Um, Okay, I, I think you're hiding from something. I don't know if you're hiding from someone in particular, but this could be hiding from something or just kind of like you, you just quite haven't got the gumption up or you haven't quite gotten the willpower up yet to move in a direction that you know you want to move in. You mean, you know, you're opening up here, you know, you got the Page of Cups. You may be feeling a little bit vulnerable. Maybe you have to take a risk. You know, maybe this is about really jump just jumping in feet first and taking a risk here maybe you're trying to gather more information before you do this preparation and planning before you make this move and jump into something here so what is the king of cups see how he's blowing his horn i'm ready ready <laughs> ready to jump off the cliff okay i'm ready Maybe you're not sure quite yet. Maybe you're not ready yet. That could be it, too. Let's see what the King of Cups is. What is this? We have the Three of Swords. I think you don't want to get hurt again. We have Justice. Well, there's Libra coming in again. Got a lot of Venus energy coming in here. And we have the Four of Wands. I think this person has loved, loved and lost before. I think they've loved and lost before. But I think they're ready for a commitment. We got Justice here, we got the Four of Wands, and we got the Hierophant. I think they're ready for a commitment here. I think that they want to do the right thing. But we've got a lot of Venus coming in. And when Venus is in Libra, sometimes you can lose yourself in a relationship. You know, this person may have lost themselves in a relationship before. This person may have um, wore their heart out on their sleeve. And this could be you. You know, this doesn't necessarily have to be the other person, but this could be the other energy coming through. You know, love love and loss here. Yeah, and then we have the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody took somebody here has taken a risk in the past as well. They've love and lost before. Could have been in a marriage or a commitment. I think this time, you know, they don't want to lose themselves in this commitment. They don't want to they want to be in a relationship, but they also don't want to lose themselves. And that could be you, that could be the other person, that could be both of you. You know, maybe you're kind of waiting around here for this person to kind of, well, this is your energy. I mean, you're, 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 you know, you're ready to take the leap, but you just might not quite be there yet. 
So what is the Ace of Pentacles? Because here's the situation. Something new wants to be birthed here. Something new wants to come out. This may be kind of a different situation for the both of you, you know? We have the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Seven of Cups, and we have the Knight of Pentacles. You know, I think you've been waiting for this. You might be procrastinating a little bit. You don't have to rush into anything. Neither one of you have to rush into anything. You got the Knight of Pentacles here, you know. I think you're building trust. I think you're building um, honesty. I think your, you know, friendship is very important here in this dynamic. I got Sagittarius showing up here too. But you know, you got a new beginning here, a new start to something. And I think this is gonna develop over time. I don't think anything has to be rushed. You know, you're kind of like planting seeds for the future here, bringing things, you know, bringing things together slowly, taking it one step at a time, enjoying where you're at right now. There doesn't need to be a major decision made on anything. So let's find out about the three of coins because this is your challenge, building. Building together, collaborating. We have the Page of Swords, we have the Two of Cups, and we have Judgment. I think you two are watching each other. <laughs> You're watching each other uh, before you make that same commitment again here. I think that's the challenge. You know, what are you building? You know, what are you, what are you hoping for? Are you building from something from the past that's happened to you or are you building something new for the future here? And I think you're both kind of feeling each other out here and watching each other, you know, what the other one's doing or how the other one collaborates or how we get along or how we, you know, because the three of pentacles is doing something together. And you've got the two of cups here and then you got judgment, right? So. Something, you know, like you're, do, you're trying again, you're trying again, but you're both kind of like, I spy in the other one. <laughs> Sorry, but that's funny, Libra. Um, let's see what the lovers is. This is the energy that surrounds you that you might not be aware of. So this is a deep soul commitment here. I mean, I got a separate but equal, right? coming through on this. Look at that. There's hope here. And we have the Knight of Wands, future, travel. Give me one more. I mean, there's excitement. Maybe you're trying to contain your, wow, there's a lovers again. You got it twice. Gemini energy coming through, Aquarius energy coming through. Um, Gemini is very, very loud. Scorpio's coming in. If you're dealing with any of those. Um, I mean, that you got hope here. There's hope. There's hope for this relationship. You know, it seems to be going in the right direction. Um, you know, it's exciting. It's fun. It's adventurous. You're learning about each other. You're kind of feeling your way through this, figuring things out. There's your page of cups, kind of feeling your way through this. Let's see what the king of coins is. We have the queen of wands. 
Well, there's status written all over that. We have temperance, yeah. So you're bringing together two very separate energies here. Um, somebody seems to be a little bit more grounded. There's Leo showing up. You know, this is about, again, self-expression, not losing yourself in the relationship, you know. One of you seems to be a little bit more dynamic, maybe a little bit more outward, maybe a little bit more sociable, uh, maybe you're, you know, you're, you're a little bit more colorful, and one of you seems to be a little bit more grounded, kind of working on the future. Um, you know, you got the king of pentacles here, someone who's prudent, someone doesn't have a whole lot of fanfare, isn't, you know, trying to um, be the king of wands. <laughs> You know, just someone who's kind of practical, someone who's kind of like, you know, um, builds for the future, sees things through, does what they say they're going to do. And then you've got another one here who's a little bit more um, self-expressive, you know, kind of likes attention, likes to be seen. Um, and, you know, the King of Pentacles also likes to be seen. You know what I mean? That they're they're a little bit concerned about their status and how they look, and you know, enjoying some of the finer things in life. And the Queen of Wands likes to enjoy the finer things in life. But I think the message coming through here is about not losing yourself in a relationship. You know, being able to maintain your independence, um, which is a learning process, without getting lost in a relationship here. And it takes time. It takes time to get to know one another. So let's see what the Five of Swords is. We have the Chariot, Cancer coming in. We have the Ace of Pentacles, and we have the Fool. And we have Justice. I'm going to keep that. So there you are again, Libra, coming in. I think if you move too fast or try to move things too fast, I think it's going to um, bring about the energies need to have time to integrate together. You know, instead of like jumping into something, everything has to be, okay, we're a couple, we're together, we're, this is it. I think this is really a learning process for the both of you. Um, I think this is a chance to do over and do it the right way. I think that you both have qualities to bring to this connection and this relationship um, to build together. You know, and you know, the judgment, a second chance. This is a second chance to do it the right way. And you know, sometimes the Five of Swords, that can also just be, you know, usually that's about like trying to outdo one another or trying to, you know, um, take what you can get kind of an energy. And I, I think that the message here is not to rush into this too fast. Not to just like, you know, I think there's going to be some qualities here that are, could be some things that you've dealt with in the past, but it's not the same it's not the same person. Things are growing. There is opportunity here for this to be, I mean, look at energies that surround you. There's a lot of hope here for this to turn into something that is, um, that is beautiful for you, pretty much, for both of you, actually. It's like you're both going to benefit from this. That Five of Swords has a different connotation in here. It's not your usual distension. It's more, it's more, um, you have different energies that might be kind of competing with each other right now. So instead of rushing into it, take your time. Take your time. Allow this to develop. Allow it to, you know, if you, you move too fast, I think it's going to um, bring some discord. 
I think you guys are doing the right thing. I think there's time to spend alone and there's also time to spend together so that you're not losing yourself in the relationship. So let's grab some cards here for you. I like where this is heading. You both have had experiences, you know, but your, you know, your energy here is you're, you're kind of like, you know, you want to move forward quickly. There's that um, chariot and the fool coming in, right? And you got the chariot and the fool here. And I think the message is there needs to be some time here to um, be with yourself a little bit as well. So you can make the right decisions about moving forward and that you're not moving forward too quickly and you're not putting yourself in a place of vulnerability. You both want the same things and it looks like a really, you know, looks like you two are, I mean, this is compatible. King of coins and the queen of wands. It's compatible. Why not? But it's, you know, also keeping your own independence. It's Leo energy showing up. Got Aquarius showing up again as well as Cancer if you're dealing with one of those. So let's see here. Well, there's your King of Coins coming through. There's a Knight of Cups coming through. And there's a Three of Cups coming through. Yeah, this is about building for the future, building some solid foundation for the future. When I see the King of Coins, King of Pentacles come in, you know, this is something that um, has taken time to build up for a long period of time and it is established and grounded and um, is, you know, can't really be shaken. And we got the Knight of Cups here. You're kind of in those romances stage. So enjoy this. Have fun. Enjoy each other. Right? Let yourself loose a little bit, the fool. Let yourself loose a, a little bit. And enjoy each other's company right now as you're getting to learn and know and grow together. So that's what I have for you this week, Libras. I hope this gives you some clarity. And until our next reading, grand rising to you, Libras. Bye-bye.